And coming up tonight, dentists save teeth with a toothbrush. Well, now they're literally saving lives with another kind of brush. What you need to know in House Call. In House Call, more and more people are dying from it every year. Nationwide, there's one death every hour to this. But now doctors have a new way to detect oral cancer. Here's Fox 5's Dr. Sapna Parikh. We were both in total denial that she would ever die until the day she did die. Ten years ago, Brenda and Ira Skolnick's daughter Jill was diagnosed with oral cancer. She was just 27 years old. It was operated on and took out a portion of her tongue and some lymph glands down the side of her neck. She finally came out of it and felt good for about three months and then uh, it came back. Jill died one year later. People don't realize it that there's things in your mouth or things in your tongue. Everyone is at risk. 25% of all people who get oral cancer have absolutely no predisposition. They're not elderly, they don't smoke, they don't drink. Um, they have actually, actually no risk factors whatsoever. But oral cancer does not have to be a death sentence. Early diagnosis is key. And now a new device called Visalite Plus is helping dentists detect what the naked eye cannot see. What I want you to do now is I'd like you to rinse with this. First, you coat the inside of your mouth with a special solution. We darken the room, we look around their mouth with a specialized light, and abnormal cells will glow back at us. Dr. Howard Babushkin is a dentist in Manhattan. He says while traditional exams are important, often by the time the cancer is diagnosed, it's too late. Fifty percent of patients will not survive beyond five years, and those who do can have a long and painful road to recovery. If you look in somebody's mouth and you see absolutely nothing, on a regular traditional oral cancer screening and then you go back and you illuminate the tissues with the Visalight and suddenly you see something that wasn't there before, it's a huge impact. I had a third of my tongue reconstructed from various parts of my body, my arm, my leg. Eight years ago, Eva Grazel was diagnosed with oral cancer. I had a 15% chance of survival. I'm one of the lucky few. And like Jill, she did not fit the traditional oral cancer profile. I never smoked and I don't really drink, so they figured I was at no risk. Dr. Babushkin says stories like Eva's and Jill's should help bring home the message that everyone needs to be checked. If we find it at an earlier stage, the survival rates jump to more than 